Good day and welcome to the Brook on YouTube channel. My name is Anami. Today I'll be looking at working with the Sumo view panel. The view panel in Sumo can be found on the right side of the ribbon on all the ribbon tabs. The view panel can really help with orientating your model and easily switch to different views. Here I have a simple rectangular concrete building model which I am going to use to help illustrate the different options. The graphics options are used to control the visibility, for instance, display or hide types of objects in the active drawing window. These elements include structural elements like columns, walls, beams and slabs, supports like point supports and line supports, as well as non-structural elements like construction lines and circles. You can sort drawing objects alphabetically by type, the default setting, by clicking on the object column heading. To sort objects by visibility, for example, all invisible objects and then all visible objects, click the visibility column heading. By clicking it again, it reverses the order. The four direction buttons help you view the model from different directions. The front view shows you the model on the X, Y axis. The top view, the X, Z axis. And the left view, the Y, X axis. Then lastly, the isometric view shows you an isometric view of the X, Y, Z axis. Sumo has a number of different representations of the model to help you understand what you are working with. Select the version of the model you want to display using the tools in the view pane on any of the ribbon tabs. A volumetric model, a three-dimensional rendering that is equivalent to the full 3D rendering option in frame analysis. The analytical model, a simplified representation of the model that will be used for analysis. A discretized model, a view of the model that shows connectivity of elements and finite element layout. This is similar to the regular view in frame analysis. A diagram model, a thin section through the model. This view can only be seen in a level view. Let's go to level view and illustrate this comparison to the other model views. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. For more tips and tricks, subscribe to our YouTube channel.